Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Getting to Know the Archdiocese. My name is Brandon Schmidt and today we have another guest with us, Casey Brown. Casey is the president of Young Catholic Professionals here in Philadelphia. Casey, welcome. Thanks for having me. This of course, great. of course. Well, you know, let's start off by really getting to know you, who you are, just a little bit of your background and uh, job and all that. Sure, yeah. I grew up in the Archdiocese, so out in Doylestown, and um, grew up going to Archdiocesan schools, went to Our Lady Mount Carmel, um, Archbishop Wood, and then Temple University um, for college. And um, it was really in college where I started to have a love for my faith, and I knew that I wanted to do um, whatever I did with my life, I wanted to serve God. Um, and I'm currently working as a business consultant at Ernst & Young, EY, for those who know it. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so let's get to know really what you do. So you are the president of Young Catholic Professionals here in Philadelphia. So really, what is Young Catholic Professionals for anybody who doesn't know? It's helpful because the name Young Catholic Professionals really does describe kind of who we are. Yeah. Um, so we're young adults in our 20s and 30s, typically, who um, are just trying to use our careers to serve God. And our little slogan is working in witness for Christ. And that really applies to any type of career or occupation that people might have. So we have people in our group who are more in business jobs like me. But we also have people who are in nursing or medical um, medical field. We have teachers and, you know, people in psychology and things like that. So we really span any type of um, work people are doing. Just we want to inspire people to use that work to, to serve God and serve the kingdom. Well, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, so really, like part of young, young Catholic professionals, like what are some of the programs and maybe activities and even like fellowship really that young Catholic professionals offer? Mm -hmm. We have uh, monthly events. So that's kind of the core of our group where we invite the entire community. So um, anyone can come to these events, uh, whether they're kind of full-time members with us or just heard about it once and want to show up. Um, so at these monthly events, uh, they can vary between something as simple as a networking happy hour. So we just meet at a bar and have a chance to get to know each other better, make new connections, make new friends. Uh, we also have um, events called Executive Speaker Series. So we'll invite um, a seasoned professional, someone who's had um, an exemplary career and also a very exemplary faith life, who's kind of mastered that craft of working in witness for Christ. Mm -hmm. And we'll have them come in and just give a talk and, and share about their lives and what it's meant for them to um, to have their faith as the center of their life while also pursuing a successful career. Similarly, we have executive panel discussions, so we'll bring in um, a couple people to come in and they'll revolve the whole discussion around a particular virtue. Hmm. So maybe patience or courage or humility and just how that particular virtue has influenced their lives and, and maybe how we might be being called by God to grow in that particular virtue. Um, we also have uh, little half-day retreats that we call St. Joseph Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So um, St. Joseph the Worker is a big patron of ours, and um, we just offer these retreats. There are a few hours every couple of months where people can come and just try to listen to God's voice um, specifically in how it relates to their jobs and their careers. Because um, it's not often that people are you know, praying about maybe their jobs or their careers, so it right. kind of gives them that opportunity to do that. So That's awesome. Those are a few of the events that we, we have. I love it. That's great. Yeah. And let's say, you know, I'm a young Catholic professional, at least like to think I am. Of course. Um, what's, <laughs> how would I get involved? What's the next step for me if I'm, you know, interested in YCP, really? All you got to do is show up. Okay. So there's, I mean, there's a couple different ways. We, of course, um, we have a leadership team, so you could reach out to, you know, me, anyone on our team. Uh, we have a website that can help you get connected to. Um, we have a mailing list, social media, so all different ways that you can kind of find out about when our events are, what we have going on. And then from there, um, if you're interested, we have um, a membership offering so people can become kind of full-time paying members, which and that um, their financial support helps us run our chapter. So it's sort of like they're kind of becoming the, the sponsors of our chapter, if you mm -hmm. will. So. Um, but yeah, it's really as simple as just showing up and wanting to grow in that community and get to know people. Cool, cool. Yeah. And even for you, being you know president of the organization and you know being involved in the organization, how have you felt that 
uh, Young Catholic Professionals, the organization, has really helped you, not only as a Catholic, but even as somebody working in the corporate world, really, here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's done a lot. So, mm -hmm. um, I, like I said, in college, I kind of came to this um, realization that I wanted to use my life to serve God somehow. I didn't really know what that would look like. Um, at first, I thought it meant more of like full-time ministry, mission work to some extent, um, sort of let go of the corporate world and, and focus on that. But um, through a series of twists and turns and closed doors, I did end up in a corporate job, a very corporate, secular job. And um, I started really reflecting on and kind of growing in a devotion to uh, the Holy Family at the time, um, especially... Uh, when, you know, Jesus was a young boy and they were really in that hidden lifetime and just the beauty of Mary and Joseph not doing anything crazy, just sort of basking in the presence of the Lord while living out the duties of their vocation. And um, I felt really drawn to that. And I said, that kind of feels like what God's calling me to, to just live a normal life, a pretty normal looking life, mm -hmm. but point, pointing all of it to God and, and for his glory. Um, and so I was really drawn by that idea, but I just didn't know how to do it. So it led to a couple of difficult years of, um, you know, working my corporate job, but feeling super alone in it, feeling like I was the only one trying to do this and feeling like it was a bit of an impossible task, you know, kind of like work and faith felt like they were competing for my time and work was winning. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's when YCP really came into the picture. And um, through just getting to know the organization and getting to know other people who are after the same goal as me, like just trying to follow God's voice and live a normal life and, mm -hmm. and serve him with our work, um, has really changed my whole perspective. And I think that's really interesting. And I'm really glad God has kind of done that with my story because I've been in the same job this whole time. It's the same job, same company, same role. Um, but I've gone from, you know, really struggling to understand how to serve God and, and where I kind of fit into the whole church and to the mission of the church to now where I feel so at peace with my career, so so full of joy. And, um, and it's really just through the simple fact that I have community now. I have community. I have resources um, for if I need some inspiration or to understand how to maybe have a difficult conversation at work that involves faith. Um, so yeah, it, it there really was no big giant change, but just those little things of, of community and and support and, and formation have really made all the difference for me. Praise God, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah really neat. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Casey, and really letting us know more about YCP. Yeah. And if you'd like to get involved more in YCP, or even for the first time, uh, we've included the links to both the Facebook page and the website here on this YouTube page. Thank you for joining us today, and join us next time as we continue to get to know the people, places, and events of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia.